Hey guys, it's just on the case. You know, I'm always on the case. So I'm coming to you about a story um, that you are or should be familiar with. This is a story about Tamela Horsford. Um, this story is coming back in the news just like Kendrick Johnson did. Tamela's lawyer is saying that this was no accident. If you have not heard of the story, then I'm going to go through it a little bit with you so everybody can be up to par. Okay, so Tamela was a mother of five. She went to a slumber, a slumber party with seven other women. Uh, and uh, these women were of different race than her. Uh, she was the only black woman I saw there. Not being funny, I'm just being telling you guys what's going on. Anyway, so you can see Tamla in the video having fun. Everybody's having fun. Everybody's being friendly. Everybody's laughing. Everybody's joking. Everybody's drinking. And somehow, during this slumber party, uh, Tamla ends up dead. She ends up face down on the ground. What was said was Tamala fell from a balcony and it was an accidental death. Uh, the 911 call was placed anywhere between 8.59 and 9.30. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I've seen two different reports of the 911 call. So I don't know if they can get that together or what, but I'm just letting you guys know. So my take on this story Y'all know I'm going to be honest. I don't care what anybody has to say. I do care about you guys' opinion, but if it's somebody that's nasty and don't know how I work, I really don't care. It's not going to bother me. But what I'm going to say is this was not a 15-room mansion, okay? didn't have 50 people in it. It didn't have five balconies. How out of all the people that were there, it was probably about seven to 10 business, seven to 10 people there because allegedly they're saying that, that there were maybe three men or more there. And what I'm saying is how nobody saw her, how nobody saw what happened. But as you can see, they acknowledged her on the video. She was on the video. Everybody saw her on the video because they were interacting with her. How do you lose a person at a house and, and, and don't know anything? Are you telling me your house is that big that you don't know what happened? Okay, you got seven or ten or more people at your house and you're telling me nobody saw anything. Nobody knows anything. Now, if you were to, like I said, if you were at a mansion and it was like 50 people, okay, you know, I wouldn't expect someone to try to keep up with 50 people, but you're at a house. It's supposed to be a slumber party. You're supposed to know who's coming to the slumber party. And it's just like if you were a chauffeur for your kids at a, a field trip. Like, you're not going to turn around and just pretend like you're not supposed to be making sure everybody's okay. If you're inviting people to your house and it's supposed to be fun, you're supposed to also make sure that you have checked everybody off and that everybody's okay. Um, you are providing hospitality. My question to this is, how does one woman fall off a balcony face first and nobody knows anything? So now it's ruled as an accidental death at the moment, but the case is being reopened because they have found that there might be some discrepancies and also some tampering with evidence. And you guys know me. I like stuff like that because that's a fight.
That's a fight. Because they're basically saying at the scene of the incident, it looked like things were tampered with. And the people in that county that are responsible for deeming things as accidental deaths or murder, they decided it was accidental. And the GBI is opening the case back up because there is also a petition of for the case to have the case reopened. So the GBI is working on opening the case up. Um, And I think this case does need to be opened back up. How is it? She's the only one that got hurt. And nobody knows anything. That comes back to it again. I'm going to say it again. How are there small people at this house? Seven or ten people at a house. How are you giving hospitality and letting people come to your house and people are dying at your house and you have no idea what's going on? That doesn't make any sense to me, period. I don't care what anybody says. That's ridiculous. And every person has no clue what's going on. You can't even tell the police, oh, I heard a bang. You can't tell them anything. You know why? Because you guys are covering something up. And it's like a pack. Maybe you guys just said, okay, we're going to all say we didn't know anything. So this doesn't go anywhere because we don't want to get in trouble. Maybe somebody did something and that person might have. Maybe it was an accident. And to keep that person out of trouble. Everybody made a pack. Or maybe somebody really pushed her over the balcony. and Nobody knew but that person that she was pushed But my thing is, if that's your friend, you brought her to your house, how do you let her just end up dead? I don't get that. I don't understand. I'm not understanding how you invite someone to a slumber party and they end up face down on your on your grass. And you don't know anything, but you were in the picture with her. You guys were in a picture together in video and everybody was having fun and everybody acknowledged that she was there and that you could see everybody interacting with her. But how do you guys not know what what happened? How do you not know anything when you were interacting with her on the video? Like, and she has five kids. This is not okay. And if anybody thinks this is okay, just put yourself in her shoes and put yourself in her children's shoes. Will you like it? If Something happened to one of your family members and nobody told you anything. They said they didn't know anything. And you know that family has kids that they look out for and that they've been interacting with and they've been protecting and then nobody knows what happened to the person. Are you telling me you're just going to let them say they don't know what happened? Every single person doesn't know what happened. Now, what they messed up at is saying they don't know anything. They don't know what happened. Everybody can't not know what happened. Somebody saw something. There were seven to ten people in that house. You guys were not standing in the same spot in the house. And I know people like to go outside when they drink because they get hot. You're not going to tell me that you were in the same spot, all ten of you, in a corner together, face to the wall, where you couldn't see everybody and see what was going on. And that being that person's house, you're not going to tell me that you didn't walk around to see. Most people, when they have people over, they try to clean up behind people while stuff is going on. They're, they're bringing out stuff out the kitchen. They're asking, do you want this? Is she okay? Go ask her, does she want some? And you're telling me this girl fell off of a, a balcony face first, and you don't know anything. Nobody knows anything. So did you invite a stranger to your house? Because that's what that's what you're telling them, that you invited a stranger and you don't know what happened to the stranger because you don't know the stranger, like you didn't know the stranger was there. This woman was not a stranger. 
if you invite somebody to a slumber party, that means you know them and you're ready to chill and have fun with that person and that's your friend. How would you let your friend fall off a balcony face first and not know that she's out there? It seems like to me somebody knew and they just tried to figure everything out and then in the morning they called the cops. That's what I think happened. They made up a pack and they called the cops when they when they were done cleaning up evidence and lying to each other and making sure everybody had the same story of I don't know. Because they knew if they tried to make up a story, somebody was going to get the story wrong. So they decided that they're just going to say that everybody didn't know. So nobody has to tell a lie. Nobody has to mess up and make a mistake. Well, the mistake is there's no way 10 people or seven people or even five people don't know what's going on in one household. Like I said, unless you live in a 15 room mansion with five balconies, maybe you might not know what's going on. If it's it's 50 people there and you have no idea who showed up, that's different. But you live in a house, you brought people over and it wasn't a lot of people. This girl was able to be fit in a video with everybody else. And now all of a sudden you don't know what happened. You have no idea, but she was in the video with her. You don't know what happened to her, though. Please. They need to reopen this case. And they need to pull these people. And they need to get answers. They need to do lie detector tests. I don't care if they say the lie detector tests cannot be uh, miscible in court. Do them, because they will tell you if somebody is, is not telling the whole truth or somebody is lying about what really happened to her. It could be inconclusive. That I mean, you you're you're not telling everything. You know something, you're not saying anything. So with that being said, I'm just on the case. Yeah, I know I'm always on the case. If I hear anything else about this story with the GBI, because they are trying, they are actually reopening this case, and it is looking like a murder. It does not look like an accident. It is not an accident in my book, and I'm not going to lie for anybody, and I'm I'm not going to pretend like it's an accident. It's not an accident, okay? And that's that. You guys can agree to disagree. I don't care. Come on. We're not stupid. Just like Kendrick Johnson, not an accident. Nobody knows anything. Nobody, look guys, it's adding up. Nobody knows anything about Kanika. Nobody knows anything about Kendrick Johnson. Nobody knows anything about Tamla. Nobody knows anything, guys. Are you serious? We don't know anything? You got people at your house, you don't know anything? You got people staring at a hotel. You have security cameras. You don't know anything. You're in a whole school with camera, motion cameras, in a gym with students, and you don't know anything? Give me a break. It's just on the case. Y'all have a good night.